system monitoring is a really important part of any cloud-based system. I've talked with lots of companies who say, when we deploy new software, we're not really sure what's happening. And I'm sure most of us have seen the frightening stories in the news of companies whose systems got out of control, had security breaches that weren't discovered for days after they happened, or had scalability problems in which their servers couldn't handle a tough workload and no one was able to respond in time to fix what was wrong. System monitoring started out in the old days with people looking at operating system logs and metrics to say simple things like how much memory is in use or how busy is the disk drive. Those are great metrics. We should keep looking at core system monitoring metrics like those, but it gets very challenging in the cloud environment because we have many different machines, each doing a part of our work. Therefore, log aggregation and system monitoring aggregation are really, really important in the cloud environment. And when you bring up new machines, ask yourself, have I also automated the process of feeding in their logs and their system monitoring events into my central logging environment and my central monitoring environment? Even if I am gathering information from all my different machines, application servers, database servers, firewalls, queues, you name it, is anybody looking at those events? Are the logs being examined? Do I have a graphical system where I can actually take in information in an efficient way and see what's going on? Do I have automated response systems that will do things like bring up new servers if the workload is high or alert someone if a manual step is needed? One of the tools we really like for system monitoring is Grafana. As an open source tool, it complies with that spirit of integration. And we feel that when building cloud systems, integration is everything. Most modern software development isn't really about writing new code most of the day. Developers spend a lot of their time responding to bugs, and they spend a lot of time dealing with the complicated distributed system that their software has to run on, and that complexity is often the source of those bugs. So pieces of software or components that you can reuse that eliminate writing new code and turn your problem into a simple one of aggregation and integration are good things. Tools that were designed for aggregation and integration with other tools and components are really good things. Grafana is a good example of this spirit of open source tools that can be easily integrated with different data sources in order to give you the images you really need. People in different job functions need to know different things about what's running in your distributed system. For example, a system operator may just want to know that the hardware isn't failing and be able to take steps whether it's to replace physical hardware or to replace virtual hardware on the cloud. By contrast, application developers need to monitor the behavior inside the application. How many actually meaningful user transactions are happening per second? That may be a very different question from how many database read writes are happening per second. Which part of the application is responsible for all these performance things that are happening? Instrumenting your application and seeing how it's doing is a very different step from just letting your operating system tell you what the base resources of your system are doing. That means people in different job functions need to see different views of your system monitoring. It's really important to bring together views of all the different virtual machines or physical machines in your system to one place so that you can really see what's going on. If your software is running in containers, it's also really useful to know what's going on in those different containers. Some people who benefit a lot from system monitoring don't even work in the IT department. For example, the marketing department might want to know which parts of your system are being used most and at what hours of the day. Product managers might want to know which parts of your software are actually putting the biggest load on the system and creating expense so that they can decide to ask engineering to fix those parts or perhaps to promote the use of other parts of the system. So marketing people want to know what's happening in the system too, but telling them what the disk drive did is not interesting. Telling them the aggregate behavior of all the users on your system and how they interacted with the application, that's interesting. So when we think about installing and expanding system monitoring, we think about all the different people who would like to know what's going on in the system. Sometimes when we're working in IT, we forget that there are senior people who need to know what's going on. System monitoring is a great way to show C-level executives and other top executives exactly what's happening in your computer systems. Where's all that money going to? Where's all that engineering time being spent? What are our customers actually doing when they come and interact with our systems? 
the more monitoring we can put in place, the more we can answer those questions. And the more visualization we put in place, the more those answers are understandable. Dashboards for people in different job functions allow them to make correct decisions based on what's really happening in the cloud.